What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Best Bet Show. We took a little bit of a hiatus uh, during the bland NBA part of the season, but we are back for March Madness, and we'll have a bunch more baseball videos and basketball videos coming out. But we have a special guest here today, the always professional, always mm -hmm. a good time, Slop rules, John Heislop. John, how you doing today, my man? Ah, uh, just living the dream, bro. I can't. I want to kind of go to bed right now, just so I can wake up and it's tomorrow and it's the NCAA tournament day. <laughs> I really do. I, I'm thinking about doing it. I also want to watch the NBA tonight, Austin. I know I you're. Watch. I know you're half into March Madness. Is it as big over there on the West Coast as it is over here in the East Coast? Um, it's definitely huge. Like all my friends and stuff have brackets. It's it's a big deal. I, I would say it's the same. Um, for me personally, just I've never been a diehard college basketball fan. You know what I mean? I, I think I'm like the typical college basketball. I tune in during March Madness. You know what I mean? So I'd say I'm the casual with March Madness, but I always find a way to do well. I fire. It's gambling. You know what I mean? I'm always there for gambling. So you talk about the most amount of games you're going to have in a short amount of time. I mean, this is it. Besides, like, the World Cup, I mean, we get this every year. I mean, and that's soccer. So, you know, we – this is just kids playing basketball. Nothing better than this. I actually won my bracket tournament last year. I think I watched three college basketball games up to the tournament. I think you might have a better chance not watching all year. John, I know you are – you've been watching this, this stuff for years. What's your best March Madness strategy? Um, Just trying to bet every single game. No, wait, wait, for money or for fun? Yeah, <laughs> Both. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, for money, you, you want to stick to your spots. But, like, I'll be honest with you. You haven't lived until you've had money on every game. Because there's 16 games on the first day, 16 on the second day. Dude, by the time, like, the, I don't know, the, the last four on Thursday start, you forget what you have. You're just yeah. like, dude, I've been through so much already. You kind of got a little bit of PTSD going on, and it's fun. You know what I mean? So there's that. But uh, if you care about your bankroll, I would definitely probably advise against doing that. So, yeah, rock and a hard yeah. place right there, you know? Absolutely. I was close. I was so close to going to Vegas to try to watch these 16 games two days in a row because I thought it would just be electric to have coin on every single game, sit it, there and just take the beating or celebrate in success, yeah. you know? Austin, it's amazing, dude. It sounds it's, electric. It's amazing. Like, you got to do it once. I've never been to Vegas to do it, but I've, I've had money on every game, like, multiple times. Like, so that's fine. You going to do it this year? Uh, I, I'm still thinking about it. I might because uh, we got kind of a break in the action with kids sports, so I, I'm free tonight, and that's dangerous because it's going <laughs> to take one Google search. The next thing you know, I'm watching this video or that video, and before you know it, I got an angle. You know what I mean? And, and then now you're – you just got a pocket full of tickets, and you're like, I have no idea what I'm doing. No, and before you know it, you're on every underdog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Strong oh, yeah. case. Yeah, like, to, to win outright, too, like the whole thing. And it's yeah. like, dude, so, I, so Sanford's going to win the whole thing, huh? Like, damn, like, how do I come up with that? <laughs> this like, this like, guy's onto something. Like, you know, a mascot has won it that was blue for the 10 of the past 12 years. That, that's what you all – I think a rabbit hole you always all you need to know. Yeah, no, that's the rabbit hole you go on, though, dude. Like, that's <laughs> literally what happens to you. And and like I said, you just become an expert somehow. Yeah. This like, this comment right here is why I love March Man. It's the first comment we got. Any 15 seed you guys like? Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Look at all of them, dude. <laughs> Someone's winning. Yeah. No, I mean, right. if you go through two, I just – I feel like I was talking about this with someone before – I feel like, like, you know, 20 years ago, like 10 years ago, even like the one seed would just destroy the 16. The one seed wouldn't even like get into trouble by like the sweet 16 elite eight. But now with like the NIL money, the amount of like social media that the kids can like, their, their scouting just got better. It's not as top heavy anymore. So like every game is like competitive. Like every game yeah. is somewhat competitive. Besides like maybe three or four. It's, it's awesome to see. And honestly, we talked about this beforehand. We talked about how we're going to have every underdog. But what is one underdog, we'll say a, a six seed or or worse, that you think can make a run? Austin, uh, I'll go first. No, Austin, you go first. Uh, I'm riding with McNeese. I, yeah. I, I rock with them. I like the head coach. I like the videos I've been seeing. And this is a very casual take, so – be careful with where you're putting your money, but this is what I'm going to be doing. I like the head coach. I like the winning mentality. I get it. He was cheating. He got caught is what it is. 
kind of like it. Yeah, me too. It, he has an edge. You know what I mean? He's trying. It, it feels right, as you like to say, slops. Mm-hmm. So I, I, th- I think that's where I'm going for my underdog pick. I, I like that. 12 over five seeds, a very common seed, uh, very common upset pick. There's Last year, there were no 12s over fives. Um, I think it corrects itself. Um, and Gonzaga, Gonzaga always... I mean, they choke every year. Gonzaga finds a way to lose in the tournament every yeah. year. You know? I mean, every team does, though. <laughs> yeah, but Gonzaga, I mean, I'm a, I'm a West Coast guy. I've, I've been seeing them for years. And it, it's not their year. That coach has a fire DUI video out though from years ago. Oh, you gotta check that out, you? dude. You watch that one. He's got <laughs> that the with him, dude. And I was just like, you know who I am? He's like, I'm an athlete. Exactly. That is one of the best DUI videos. That yeah. and Marcella Zuna. Those guys mm-hmm. have electric DUI videos. Yeah. Like, you know, as far as DUI videos go, man, it doesn't get a lot better than that. Oh, same. Yeah. <laughs> On to you, Slop. What underdog do you – you're probably going to give me like a 16 seed knowing you, but who do you got that can make a run? That can make a deep run, like Final Four? Yeah. Do we have do, like the fine underdog, like how big? We'll say six seed or worse. All right, perfect. BYU. I, that was going to be mine. I like that. BYU. Dude, those those Mormons can shoot, man. <laughs> like they, they got – and there's a lot of them too. That's the thing, like that can shoot, and that's the – that's the thing with this tournament. If you get a team that can score, man, because these kids get nervous. You know what I mean? Like they're they're literally kids on national television. Like they're probably getting death threats when they lose. Like they know what time it is. And yeah, dude, they get nervous. But like BYU, like you want you want a team that can like literally hang a hundred on somebody. Like they actually could. And I was I was looking at brackets this morning, and I'm looking at their path. They Not just got beat. They got to beat Duquesne. They could beat them. I just learned how to say that school name too, by the way. Yeah. So, I've been saying it wrong up until said. now. Yeah. I was yeah. No, I said Duquesne yeah. and people yeah. made fun of me and they still do it. I deserve it. But like, yeah, so that team, they're gone. Um, and then they, they got Illinois probably. They could probably beat Illinois. That could be just like a shootout. Just one of those like stupid 90 something to 90 something games. They barely get by. Now it's Washington State, Drake, Iowa State, or South Dakota State. And it's probably going to be Iowa State who can't score, but I don't really believe in defense in college basketball. I think you get way too much credit for being a good three-point defense when the other team can't shoot. Do you know what I mean? It's like they weren't going to make it whether you were there or not. So, like, (laughs) I don't understand, like, why we're saying you're good at defense. You know what I mean? Like, that's like whenever you play pickup ball, you always play, like, you you figure out who the bum is on the other team, and I'll, I'll cover him. Yeah, like, I, got you know, I locked his ass down. You're like, dude, he's never <laughs> even made a shot. You know, it wasn't my fault we lost, guys. Yeah, it's like, bro, my guy didn't even score. It's like, buddy, like, <laughs> your guy's in a wheelchair. You know what I mean? No, but no, no. Like, I, I feel like that could be, um, that could be something. Like, they could get by one of those defensive teams, and then after that, though, like, they're pretty much dead in the water. Yeah, one one thing for me about uh, looking a little deeper for BYU is that they're so they're actually big. If you look at their average height of their team, it's top 20 in the country. Their starting guards to centers is 6'4", 6'5", 6'5", 6'7", 6'11". For a college team, that's that's very big. Got to like they, the tall kids that can shoot, Matt. I agree. And also – could Go ahead. If you think about it, the best advantage BYU has is that these are all kids, right? These uh, are yep. all kids. Well, right? not, not BYU. I think they're a little old, man. But the, the good thing about BYU is, like, not only do all these other people not have wives, these guys are allowed to have three of them. Yeah. So yep. If you think about that aspect, yep. These guys, they're they're ahead of the curve. They're playing they for just, a crowd. Exactly. You know what I mean? They're not just like gonna get mad if their girlfriend's mad at them. They're not gonna be down. So they got like four other ones. So yeah. They're, they're exactly. They're, they're, they're rolling deep. <laughs> yeah. No, I like that. I actually was gonna say because of the path. Um, I think Big Ten basketball just never translate well to the tournament because Big Ten's kind of still sucking like the 90s. It's like we're gonna play mm-hmm. hard nose basketball yeah. to the rim. Roll the ball. Yeah, and then like uh Roll nowadays the they're just shooting and, and run up and down the floor. So I like Drake. Um, I think Drake can be Washington State, and then as a 10 seed, I think Iowa State's beatable. And I, I literally have BYU versus Drake going to the Elite Eight because of that oh, path there. I like both of them. The dog likes really, it. Dog. I, I kind of, I kind of like that look too. I think it was, was it last year where the Pac-12 was just soaring through the tournament, or was it two years ago? Where the, I, I feel like it was two. It might have been two years ago where the Pac-12 just was ridiculous and they won. Honestly, like, these tournaments get get 
formed into different yeah. years. I, I, I can get behind that. I feel like the Pac-12 was pretty weak this season. Just for, like that's the one college basketball like division I tune into just because I went to Oregon State. So I definitely like the look. Yeah, I, no. feel like, I feel like one thing too with that BYU team and just in general, I didn't look at ages of these teams, but I feel like you usually see the teams that go on run, like the Butler team a few years back. Like they usually got multiple seniors that have played together forever. You know, yeah, see, that would be a team 23 to 26 average age. That's a team that can make a run. They're all NBA. Yeah. Well, yeah. Playing with teenagers. You ever exactly. been to the YMCA? You can do a pickup game there. The kid comes from their junior college or wherever they go to school. They get their ass kicked by some 25-year-old grown man who just yeah. he thinks he's ball. still getting drafted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's but he's just he's just a, he's a grown man. It's, it's, yeah. it's no, I get it. And 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 one reason why I like Drake is that they allow the fewest offensive rebounds in the country. If you look at offensive rebound percentage. I feel like offensive rebounds, turnovers are just and and free throws are just, you know, they're just huge in March Madness. And Drake does everything well. They could shoot the three. They've they're they have a great efficiency on offense. And honestly, they're they're only, you know, the knock is that they haven't really played these crazy teams yet, but they've played a couple tournament teams. And honestly, some of these Missouri Valley conferences or some of these other guys, like 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 the James Madisons are a popular pick as a 12 seed. Sometimes, like St. Peter's last year, these guys can just get hot and they can just roll through. It's almost like it doesn't even matter who they played before in the right. season. It's just it's just weird. Yeah. St. Peter's, uh, it's in New, a school in New Jersey. Their gym is, like, smaller than, like, every other D3 school in the country. Yeah, they were not- I remember seeing pictures when they went on their run. That gym was a joke. That looked Dude, like I used to play pickup gym. there with some kids yeah. on the team, and, like, they were good, but, like, I was not – like, they were – they were good players, but they're not like you didn't think they were going to be making noise in the tournament at all, and they just they, did. You think they do it again this year? No, absolutely like, not. Yeah, they, no, that never happens. Like, what, they're the peacocks, right? Yeah, baby. Great name, though. Great I let name. them fly, Max, dude. What, what was dude? that movie? The, the other guys three. from Mark Park was like, "I'm a peacock." The other yeah, guys, I'm, other guys, I'm peacock. Gotta let me fly. <laughs> let me fly. Like that. Like. Come on. How do you not like them? But here's the thing. You never do that again. Also, too, I heard, like, there's a public swimming pool, like, right next to their locker room at that school. So, like, when they let little kids have swim lessons there, like, the that you can hear them. So, like, the That's- coach talking, trying to be serious about that. It's like little kids, like, swimming in the pool. It's just a mess. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> not even, like, the real school. It's like a community college. The guys, like, trying to yell. You just seen everyone do, like, Fortnite yeah. dances in the corner. He's, like, mad about, you know, like, picks and five outs and shit. And then there's, like, little kids with, like, noodles walking around. The, like, <laughs> like, what is happening, dude? It doesn't even make sense. Oh, I love that. I, I love that. Sometimes it builds character. It's like a Coach Carter yeah. movie. You know? So, sometimes yeah. it works. It's like Most going to prison, good. you know what I mean, coming out. And you're like, all right, you have a new look on life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> all right, we talked about some underdogs. Who is your pick to win it? I know you guys probably filled out a bracket or two. Um, don't don't be cheesy and pick UConn, but anyone else is honestly up for grabs. Who do you guys – who are you going to – I know I know you're, you're going to bet someone to win. So who are you guys going to pick to win? Austin, I'll let you go first. I feel like it's Purdue's year. I, I just do. I like the big fella. I know I know you're backing him. I know it's one seed, so it's square. But I feel like it's been Purdue's year for the last like twelve years. They're always they're, in the tournament. they're so due. It's in the name, you know. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. I'm for feeling me, that. There's no one more due than Purdue, so I'm gonna yeah. roll with them. Let's go. I make like that they have a big kid that they always have. Like they always have the same team. Like if it. If you watch a game from like eight years ago and watch this one, you would think it's the same kids. It's like the same, like they all look, they have the exact same people. They make them all in like a factory somewhere, Purdue basketball. <laughs> like their point guard's always the same. Their center is like seven five, and he's like some white kid from wherever. It just dunks. Yeah, yeah he just dunks all the time, grabs every rebound. It's like, this is stupid. Like, how do they ever lose? Yeah, right. Yeah. No, I, I I agree. I love Purdue. The the difference between Purdue this year than years past is that they have the guards to shoot threes this year, and they're not just solely reliant on Zach Eady, which makes him that much more dangerous. And that's honestly why I like them. I think they're I, I think their bracket's tough because my other favorite to win that I'm probably gonna bet on is Tennessee at the two seed. 
I'm really pissed off they're in the same section as the Midwest, but I think Tennessee is just absolutely filthy. And they're, I know it's a two seed. Their defense is third in the country. Their offense is, you know, top 30, nothing crazy. But I really like Tennessee. I just have trouble with that one two spot. But I, I think whoever wins that game, or if they both get there, has a huge shot to win the entire thing. And that's probably where my champion's coming out of. Slop, you heard our two picks. Who are you backing? Arizona. They're going to win the whole thing. There's no chance they lose, dude. They're, that team is legit. Like, I've actually seen them play, unlike the other team that I just backed. But uh, <laughs> <who's that? laughs> but uh, my, my my guy, Randall, I think it's Randall K. Betts on Twitter. He's an odd jam guy. He's a bas- college basketball genius. Uh, he had – we were in Vegas in October. He got a futures ticket on Arizona, so that's why I watched him, if anyone's wondering. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're legit. I think they're top ten in uh, offense – uh, adjusted offense. Sorry, I'm a Ken Palm guy too, so I know yeah. what I'm talking about. And then 11th in defense. Like they are, they can literally do whatever you want. They lost two games this year to Washington State, which is weird because Washington State's not even good. I think they weren't ready. I think that's what happened. And you know, it's like have you ever seen like a a fist fight where one guy like punches another guy's not even looking, and then they all brag about how he won. It's like, yeah, well, that's what happened in Arizona. Literally the same exact thing. They didn't even know. Do you know no, what I mean? I, I agree. Fight. I also think, like, in your conference and your schedule, too, there's just one team that just kind of has your number and that, like, they shouldn't. I think yeah. that's just what it was. Like, as long yeah, as no, seriously. Washington. And it's like, well, they're not going to see them because they're going to get beat, I think, by Drake. Uh, yeah. First round, Washington State. So I'll never even see them again. Those kids will never see each other again. Absolutely. And they're, and they're proud of it. And they also lost their conference tournament, which I love because yeah. – I think only two teams, two winners in the last 10 years have won their conference tournament and won March Madness. It's mm-hmm. just tough to win that many games in a row. So, I mean, I'm proud of Arizona for getting one, one loss out early right now. Smart. They don't even have a real game until they would have to play North Carolina. That whole, that whole bracket strategy. Clemson, New Mexico, Baylor, Colgate, Dayton, Nevada, Long Beach State. And we get Wait. Caleb Love. Who transferred from North Carolina? He's yep. fair, one of their yep. guards. Wow. He gets his revenge. I like that yep. narrative slop. Yep, revenge game. So like they don't like how. I mean, I think it's kind of unfair. No, I like, I they agree. Shouldn't even be allowed to have this one. And, and honestly, new people like New Mexico at the 11 seed because no. Rick Pitino is the coach, and you know his whole team. I don't think too. Rick Pitino is the coach in New Mexico, is he? He is. Rick Pitino? Yeah. The guy who got cheat or whatever that whatever that was, he's been finding his way, man. I thought he was St. John's, New Mexico, the New Mexico low. Oh, it, it's the it's the younger it's the younger one. Oh, okay. I was like, God, slick Rick. No, it's the family ties. He's got okay. it all. Okay, you know, seventy one years old. He's the coach. No, it's his son. Okay, I was scared. I was like, God damn, man, I'm it's way out of touch. Family ties, I baby. I just saw that guy the other day. And he was like on St. John's. Like he's got two teams now. People yeah. like, That's but crazy. people like. It's honestly good that he's not. He's not because St. John's is. Yeah, you tournament. don't want him. Like he's. Yeah. But he's also got him as a as a mentor right now too. He's been there. You don't think he's? You don't think he's on a phone call or two? Hey, hey. Look at Jeff in the chat. UNC will body bag. Come on, Jeff. Get your head out of clouds. Baycott's like 41 years old. I think Dude, his son's going to be on the team next year. Like, you can't rebound the ball if, the, if Arizona doesn't miss, Jeff. <laughs> I'm saying, like, what, did you get a rebound what, just after it falls through the hoop? What, what about Grand Canyon beating North Carolina as a 12 seed if they match up? I mean, UNC that's is that. the worst. That the worst that's one not happening. Time. Not yeah. happening. Yeah. Have you ever yeah. seen the Grand Canyon? It's pretty magical. It, it is. I've yeah. been to the campus multiple times. It's not not happening. Is it I'm cool there, though? I've the actually campus? never been. It, it, party it there? Great vibe. Yeah, great party uh, school. Arizona, great party school. So Excellent. they got that. And you know what happens when you win? You party. You, you're not going to party yeah. when you lose. They uh, might. Uh, well, they do. They will. Yeah. That's that's the only problem with Arizona. It's like they're still going to party regardless. That's the, that's the thing. Betting on these college kids, when they lose, that's how they like, ah, tough loss. Let's go party. Let's bring the vibes back up. So that's what yeah. you're betting on right now. Yeah, but exactly. Caleb Love transferring shows you how much college basketball means. He's not going to be one of those, like, star players doesn't care. You know, I yeah. hate when you back an NBA prospect and they're like, 
you can tell like, they really just don't care in the first round. They're like, ah, yeah, well, they don't want to get hurt. And you're like, oh, <laughs> right. like, I forgot about that. Yeah. They're like, they're like, I'm trying to win an NBA championship. Like, in the next couple of years, I really don't care about this. This. Jeff, I'm only 46. Yeah, that's pretty messed up, mm-hmm. Jeff. Honestly. Mm-hmm. Read the room, Jeff. We're, we're fading I'm North Carolina in this cool. tournament. Tom Brady's older than me. He was just playing football a couple years ago. <laughs> that's a fair mm-hmm. point. All right. Everyone in the chat, this guy said Purdue taking it this year. No more choking. Also love the uh, picture. Absolutely sharp. Let's. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, looked at the um, the spreads for this opening day game or opening games on uh, Thursday. I'm going to go through a little bit what I like. Um, and again, I'm just looking at Ken Palm analytics and basically what I know to be true in March Madness. I'm not like looking through exactly the metrics of what they play and, and whatever. I used to love when Syracuse used to be in the tournament every year because you knew it was going to be a zone. And it's just like you can kind of mark that off, but you don't know how these other teams are going to be playing. Um, and I'm looking at the – on Thursday. And also a pro tip for these guys who just fill out brackets. Ten years ago or five years ago before gambling was like legal in America – Used to be like, oh, a 13 seed can't win, but now you see what Vegas thinks the spread is. So you could just look at that to kind of look at if you think your up your upset is that crazy. Because there's 12 well, five seeds. That was, where the uh, that was our advantage back in the day, like when you had like a work pool, because yeah. like you had a bookie, so you could just go online and just look at the lines and shit. But a lot of these people, they weren't even looking at lines at all. Like no. they would just look at like the seed. You know what I mean? I was like, man, like this team's favored over them. You don't need a 10-7 or something like that. Yeah. And everyone used to not pick any sort of upsets. You always have you always see the bracket pools, like there's like no upsets at all. It's like one, two, one, two, one, two, all the ones in the final four. Have you seen Vegas have because I'm just now looking at like college basketball odds. Have you seen ever where the 10 seed is favored higher than the seven? Like where yeah. books are. Nevada is a favorite right now versus uh I think that happened already. With my- yeah, see, I would have never known that like growing up when I was filling out brackets and stuff. No. You know? yeah. My best one, my best pick for Thursday is a 10 seed that's now favored over the 7 seed. Who's that? Drake. Yes, sir, baby. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you would see that in this room. Yeah, it is so perfect because I right, we got bowling night Thursday night, right? So you know you're you're kind of getting after it a little bit. It, it didn't start till nine anyway, so you need a great game like at the end of the night. Drake is the last game to start, and you know they're starting late, so like it's gonna be perfect. I love that. I can't wait. I I, I I I love Drake. I'm just saying. I think they boat race them. Like, I don't think Washington State's that good. I think they're in the tournament. They beat Arizona twice. Yeah, I think that's literally why. Like that's it. That's the only reason why they're here. And the only team that they can beat is Arizona. So I'm just yeah, saying, you and know, they're, they're not playing Arizona. See what I'm saying? No. Smart. I like Drake a lot. So you look, you you can look at the Ken Palm rankings too. Which is, if you're not looking at Ken Palm rankings and you're not like, then you, and you're doing March Madness, you're just doing it wrong. It's like the easiest way to just gather information. Yeah. Um, on it, they're not that far behind. Um, the, the, the Dayton Nevada seven ten is funny because Dayton's literally one rank ahead on the Ken Palm rankings. And you can see it's basically offense and bad defense versus someone that's basically good at both. One, the one thing I always look for too, when I pick my winner is, is there a point guard that can make free throws? Cause if they don't make free throws, it's like, that's the worst thing to lose yeah, on tough to watch. Cause like every year yeah. you just get screwed over by it. But I yeah I think as a, as the ten seed I think Drake is ranked a little bit worse but they do in my opinion their offense is just better and I'm more of an offense backer than a defense backer unless it's like a top ten defense because they can, like, like like John said earlier they could just be playing you know uh, St Mary's School of the Blind for the whole year and their their ratings are a little bit off so that's my favorite is Drake on a minus one or money line. Uh, on Thursday, and also I think I'm betting Nevada over Dayton as well, which is another 10 seed that you're going to get a minus one on. I think I have UAB. Do they play on Thursday? I got a bunch of bets that I got from Odds Jam. Literally Sunday night, I was just hitting the button just when the lines are coming out. UAB is playing Friday. It's plus six and a half right now. Yeah, I think I got the over in that. It was like 132. 
that night, 132 and a half. I think it's like a buck 39 now. It's like, yeah, wow. it's 138 and a half. Yeah, okay. Damn. So I was like, Jesus, like, that's a good move. Yeah, that's a great move. But I don't know if like you want that now, but uh, no, Thursday, wait, there's still another one. No, oh, there's Austin's is Thursday. That's the other one. McNeese State plus yeah. six and a half. Yeah, they can get plus six and a half. I mean, that's they might win that game outright. They went straight up. Yeah. But no, Drake is the one I would bet my house on, like responsibly. You know what I mean? I like Nevada and Drake. One thing I don't understand is that these people actually bet unders in March Madness. It's like you are just ruining the holiday. Yeah. If, if you do that with betting. the early game, though, and like one that you're not going to really watch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, you can't do that with those night games, like that you're actually going to be paying attention and shit. Like, there's no way you could take an under. If you like the under, then you got to just not bet it. Yeah, you're just gonna watch it. Root for the dog. <laughs> just mm-hmm. like, yeah, Nevada will hit is right. Um, yeah, that's that's literally. It. If anyone in the chat wants any questions on what we think of some games, feel free to ask. Um, I think my advice to you is never pick UConn. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's a psycho. <laughs> that was that tweet that someone put out that I thought was so funny because it wasn't true. So I was oh, yeah. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, he's out for the year because he, he doesn't have the grades or something like that. And, like, people were just going nuts. Like, how are they putting his business, you know, out there like that? Blah, blah, blah. And you're like, dude, he's playing right now. Like, you can yeah. turn on the TV right now and he's playing. So, like, this is clearly not true, but it's hilarious because it's got people fired up. You know, I like I'm anything pretty, that gets people fired up. I'm pretty sure, like, the, the student advisor like, person in charge, like, this is just not true or something like that. Yeah, no, like, there were so many people. Like, go look it up. I bet you that tweet's still there. Like God, it was funny. Yeah, oh, dude, it did it did numbers. It's because so yeah. many people just jump on it. It's like man, like but they weren't even saying how it wasn't true. They were more mad that they put his business out there. It's like, dude, <laughs> like I, 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 I wonder if I wonder if I tweeted right now, like, oh, Zach Eady suspended for first two games because he failed his. You dude, know. if you said yeah, like like I would go domestic violence or something like that. That's just me. <laughs> But, like, yeah, if you want to go fail a drug test, like, that's always yeah. fun. Uh, that might get you in like a weird charge. What's up? I said that might get you in trouble dropping a DA. Yeah, yeah, well, you got to watch out. Maybe, like, a, <laughs> they say, like, you like cruelty to animals or something like that. Yeah, like, you, it's, it's a little too weird, you know what I mean, to, like, yeah. be like, am I in trouble for this? Or, like, just I said he kicked the dog? Like, just right. fucking around. But, that, like, that would do <laughs> – right now, you would break the internet. You'd also destroy like any credibility that you've ever built up because that I mean it's over after that. But but you go out with a bang. This would be the time to do it. They would just pick pick the best player on a one seed uh, the Wednesday before they play. Yeah. With a room and like yeah, you're gonna you're gonna cause cause some problems. One guy I actually love. If you guys want to watch a player in the tournament, is Dalton Connect on Tennessee. He's like a six, I think he's like six, seven, six, eight white guy. He can shoot the lights out, but he also just gets to the rack with ease. And there's always like a couple guys in the tournament that just are just unbelievable for that short span. I think he's going to be insane to watch. And that's someone I got my eyes on. As far as Kentucky, they have a player, yeah. well, but I just feel like the Kentucky fat is over for me. I think, Same. yeah, I'm all set. Yeah. I'm done with I'll that. I'll wait for next year until we see one of them in the NBA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, they ain't gonna win nothing. They they don't it's play like, they like team. Care. It's all ISO ball. Yeah, it's all just one and done. See you later. Yeah, and like the exact kid it. that you were just talking about that just doesn't give a shit. Like, yeah, about like he's like, dude, I'm out. I'm about to get like, if you're in his shoes, why would you? Like, I'm only yeah, here for a year. This is a stopover. I'm about to go get millions of dollars. Like, yeah. I don't really bleed blue. Like, he's at also all. not. Yeah, he's not he like a Kentucky diehard alumni. He's been there for a year and he's in a dip. Yeah, he's, he's like, he don't care. Who's the no, white kid with the goggles? The big guy moves real slow. Kind of reminds me of big country. He might be Spanish. I think he was at one of those mid-majors. You know who I'm talking about. Oh, is he, is he like building a fridge? Yeah, big boy. Yeah, where, who does he who play? Who is that guy? And did they make the tournament? Because if they made is it, that, I might is it Avila? Oh, his uh, name was uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. No, it's something of Vilia or something. Yeah, I think they were they were calling him Kareem. Yeah, they're calling I think him that's Kareem, who it is. Yeah, I think he might be a Spanish kid. He can Indiana, he's Indiana nasty. State Robbie of Avila. That's I'll who it watch is. him all day. They didn't make it. No, I don't think so. Damn. 
He would have been good television. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. We need one of those kids. Very that's blurred. <laughs> look at him, look him up, Chucks, in a jersey. Holy smokes! No, I know, yeah. dude. Oh, he's he's like my kind of guy. Like You're back in that guy's favorite slot. ones. Holy smokes! This does not look like a collegiate basketball player. No, but and oh, then but you watch him play, and you're like, wow, man! Like he's he's incredible. Yeah, it's kind of like he, Prince playing Prince means basketball. Means. basketball. You know what I mean? He he's got like Rex Max. He's got the like the worst back knee you've ever seen. He's like, huh? <laughs> just yeah. No, like, he shows up at the Y, dude. Like you, you're like, all right, I'm, like I'm all set. And then you and then you play <laughs> against him. You're like, damn, I just got cooked by that guy. Yeah, dude, he'd have been funny to make the tournament, man. His tattoos are terrible too. Like, yeah. Dra- Dra- dude, he Dra- has this guy everything. Like, if you're like making a guy in the video game, yeah, like, you, you know can't even saying? make like, that guy. He's got somebody Shady made Arthur. him. Dude, like EA is- Sports made that kid somehow. Yeah, he's an industry like, plant, man. He's an like, NCAA real. plant. He was crafted in a lab, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna lab malfunction. Him. Dude, his shoulder acne and stuff. I'm looking at pictures of him. This guy does not look real. He has no armpit. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The first time I saw him play, I was like, is this a joke? And then you, I, you watch him, like, man, he's kind of nasty. Yeah, like, he, he is. just do everything, but he just does it, like, real slow. But that fucks everyone up, man, because it's like you think he might be fast, and then, like, this guy's just, like, so slow, but he's just doing everything right. Yeah, no. the next I like Jokic. Joker. Yeah, yeah is this true. the next baby Jokic? It, it might be, be dude. Yeah, swap the clock that guy that first. just goes at his own pace. It's like whatever, and get some. Like always. No, I agree. Um, are you guys doing that thing where you bet on the underdogs every game or no? No. Nah. I think it's an awesome challenge. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think that would be so electric. Last year would have been the year to do it. I can't do it this year because you know the year you do it, it's gonna be just straight <laughs> favorites. But yeah, I mean it's it's so a fun far, challenge. Like, crack it. I have all four ones going to the final four because, like, no one's going to see it coming. Like, it's got like, a <laughs> pendulum is shifted, you know what I mean? Like, to the point where it's like, this is going to happen sometime, and it's, it, and no one's going to have it. Like, nobody's going to have it just because I'm you're not sure. supposed to do it. So, I think that's right. why I'd be afraid of doing the, you know what I'm saying, doing the underdog challenge just because of that. No, I think you're Smart. right. It's, yeah. it, is it square if everyone's doing the opposite? No, That's what I'm saying. Like sharp. now, yeah, you gotta like I mean, it's you so gotta square and sharp, theory, man. Zig while everyone else is zagging. I, I, I agree. Think I did it. I agree. And like, yeah, what if that 100%. happens, dude? Like you'd be like a genius. You know, and then like you guys didn't do this, dude. It's always the worst. Like when that happens, you're like, why didn't I just fucking do that? Like why didn't yeah, I just? Why would I pick like the best teams to be in the final four? Like, like, why did I pick Samford to go to the Elite Eight? Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, they, they lose by 30 in the first round. Like, you don't even watch it by the time the Elite Eight hits. You know what I mean? Like, the, 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 so the guy I can't stand is the guy that picks every 15, 13, 14 seed and then goes, I called that one when the one yeah, finally yeah, hits. Yeah, I did you. I did you. I hate my biggest pet peeve, and I it goes for this. When people – it's like in fantasy basketball, football, when they show you your team, nobody cares about your team. Nobody nope. cares about your bracket of what you nope. hit or what you – like, keep your nope. bracket out of my face. Yeah. yeah. When you have 14 of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And you're showing me the one that's actually doing okay, which is not even doing good a lot of times too. It's like, yeah, dude, yeah. you're still losing. Like, you, you just showed me an upset and then, season. like, show me the standings. Like, you're you're out already. You know what I mean? It's like, so <laughs> yeah. really? You know what I mean? Like, is, are you really bragging? Yeah, I'm really <laughs> like that. I got the 14 seed in my 14th league. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can't I'm, stand I'm not going to lie. Every year up until I probably turned like 22, I genuinely thought I was going to be the first person to get a perfect bracket where I was genuinely upset when my first game lost, which was like the first three games. Like, oh, bro, I still think I'm getting a perfect bracket. <laughs> <laughs> that never changed. Every, every year, bro. Every year, I'm like, this is going to be it. This is going to be it. You no. just got to get to the first four games. I haven't done that yet. But like if you <laughs> get to like the first four, oh, man, watch out. Don't let Dude. me get hot. It's always funny because, like, I go in now not thinking it. I'll win the first three. I'm like, oh, uh, I think mm-hmm. I got a sh-. And then you I just get- there's a chance. <laughs> and then it's like 2 smashed. o'clock on Thursday and, like, your, your shit's done. It's like, it's man. Like, like, it's like three, three one it. seeds advance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I always lose it literally on the first – those first four games. One of those games don't go, like, the way I thought. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, also too, in my defense, I don't even watch college basketball very much, so there's that too. But 
I still think that's just goes to show. I still think that I could get a perfect bracket. Yeah, it's it's in the mindset. You you can't if you don't think that way. Yeah, You're not gonna do it. That. That's that's a fair point. Fact. That that's gonna be it for the show. I think we have some good stuff in there. I like I like the vibes. I like the teams that we think are gonna win. Again, no one's an expert on March Madness. I'll tell you that right now. If they're telling you that, find someone else. Okay. You can uh, like certain like, teams. I'm kind of like the March Madness expert guy, because like, they're always fun. Because like they, this is their like Super Bowl, like right now, like so Monday. So actually, I'm sorry. So they get Sunday evening, all throughout the night, and then they get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you never see that dude again. Like by oh, Thursday wow. midnight again, like that guy is he's not fine. an expert no more. Like he's all like he's backpedaling. You know what I mean? It's, it's fun. And he's like, and then next year he's like. I had, you know, last year didn't go as planned, but eight yeah. years before that. This year, yeah. I still got could, that time I had St. Peter's. You, know, like, <laughs> you could put any of those, like, professional guys in a league with me, and I'm telling you, I could have a, like, not watch one game. I could probably be behind them, like, right there. Yeah. You know, like, I think you're better off not – because you, yeah. you fall in love with these teams that have no reason. Yes. Spot on. Yep. There, there's a bias, a, you know, like confirmation bias because you've seen them play before and, like, you might know some of these guys. I don't know. You know the coach. Like, dude. You've won money they're, prior. They yeah, are teenagers them. throwing a ball at a hoop. Like, yeah. I'm just saying. Just Anything can happen. You. Yeah. That's it. I'll still say well, bet on every game, though. I'm just yeah, saying. Like, yeah. You have to bet in every game. I always say I'm doing there, it. There's, I already talked myself there, into it. There's two uh, sporting events where the bankroll, like strict bankroll, I always preach, but there's two days where I'm like, you know what? Have fun. Or two events. Yeah. It's Super Bowl and March Madness. You know what? Like <laughs> it's like having a cheat day. You know, you could work out and stay in your diet every other day, but you know what? On these days, cheat a little bit, have some fun. You know, gambling's supposed to be fun. I hate the guys who are like, well, I need to, no, no, no. like, dude, yeah. like, this is supposed yeah. to be fun. All right. Like I win money two percent, so it's like, dude, whatever, man. <laughs> like whatever, dude. Like, I agree, Austin. Thank you for coming on and being part of the show, Slop. Thank you for coming on as well. We have an NBA show tomorrow. If you guys are interested, with another special guest, I'm not going to do a show uh, about March Madness while it's on. So we'll do back to NBA then. Thank you both for coming on, Slop. Anything you want to say to the viewers before we go? Uh, I'm streaming all day tomorrow, starting at noon. So. On my channel on YouTube here, so uh, at Slop Rule or Slop Locks, my bad. At Slop Locks, uh, yeah. Follow follow, follow Slop Locks. Probably one of the best people on Twitter. I have all vouch for him to probably watch a live stream with, because um, you're gonna have some fun and make some money, and it'll be a good time. So Slop Locks on YouTube, give him a sub. The Thunderdome is also a very good show to watch and be a part of. We're gonna How be did back. You do last week. Uh. Uh, baseball season will be a good time. Baseball season will be a good time. <laughs> I couldn't even put out the graphics. I was like, I don't want to like bury the guy. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do? I did pretty good. Like one guy didn't play, and then I had two plus monies. One hit, one didn't. So we're okay, good. Gotcha. Well, how'd you right, do yeah, last yeah. week? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Austin, anytime you want to come back in, man. Let's do you're, it. Nah. You're down for baseball too, because like, man, it's it's it gets lonely in the summer, man. Let's do I it. Like I'd, love, I'd love to do together. one. We should do one us three. That'd be a blast. I'm okay. Down. Next Friday. How about that? Let's do it. I'm, that sounds I'm fun. Down. Sounds like a plan. Uh, guys, uh, make sure to subscribe to uh, Flash Picks and to Slop Slocks. We'll catch you guys later. See you guys. Best of luck on your brackets. Peace out. <laughs>